I'm here with McKenna Schultz and Sanaya Simpson Patu of women's basketball. Ladies, it's been a long off season. How do you prepare and do you rest? What's kind of the schedule like in the summer to get ready for the season and hit the ground running? Well, we began by uh, just getting in the weight room. Like a big thing is like getting our conditioning and our strength up, so we're ready to go when season comes. Mm -hmm. um, this summer, basically like a majority of like June and July, I train in Seattle, so I would wake up at like five, go hit the weights and then go eat breakfast, and then lunch is go eat lunch, and then um, me and my trainer would do like put up shots like around like one o'clock, and then we go into scrimmaging, and then do different drills, and that's kind of from like 5 a.m. to around like seven at night, and that was a majority of my summer until I started working, and then I just started training after work, so probably like two hours after work. And um, basically just keeping your mind like around basketball during the summer is, um, has helped me to like transition better. Um, definitely rested though. Took probably about two weeks off to just not think about basketball. A lot of individual work too. Yeah. Because you're not with your team at all, so you gotta mm -hmm. get in the gym and get your ball handling. Right. Exactly. Right. So the summer is like basically time like to be selfish um, about yourself and like work on your individual game. So I think um, I know like McKenna told me too like a lot. She was in the gym like with her trainer. So that's really what we did this summer. And you guys had seasons for the history books last year so now you were the first freshman of the year in school history McKenna we saw you put 30 up on the scoreboard multiple times you know you really lighten up the box score how do you guys look to kind of take that as the base because you both are young players how do you guys kind of go into this season with such high expectations on yourselves to kind of push the envelope once again and, and set a new standard um, personally, I try not to think about like any accolades I got or, or anything like that because it just puts more pressure on me. So um, at the end of the day, I tend to lean on my teammates and my coaching staff um, to basically just get better whatever I need to get better at. Um, but I really don't care too much about like what my numbers are presenting as far as like, oh, I got freshman of the year, like, oh, look at me type of thing. Um, it helps me to focus better when I don't. Um, so even like after games, like I try not to look at how much I scored or look how many rebounds I got. I kind of just like to go with the flow because if I start to do that, then I start to get more like self-absorbed and I, then it just goes, <laughs> hits the fan, <laughs> basically. I think a lot of it has to do with our both of our leadership this year because we're both, she's going to be a sophomore, I'm going to be a junior, and so it's a lot of you know, getting everybody involved more than individual work, mm -hmm. playing as a team, and then uh, hopefully get the newbies going. <laughs> well, when you bring up the newbies, you guys have six new faces on the roster. You know, you guys, with a new head coach last year in Christy Martin, you know, kind of reset the culture of Saints basketball. How do you bring those six players into it and kind of show them the ropes? And, you know, what are some of the bonding exercises you guys do to kind of mesh together as a team? We do a lot of community service kind of things, kind of like the ALS soccer game. But uh, one big thing for like our program is we go on a retreat for a couple of days, and this year we got to go to a lake house, and we do a lot of like team building kind of things, a lot of exercises, a lot of just hanging out and being around each other for that time, just to get to know the newcomers, get to know, you know, open ourselves up to them, so they know who we are as a person, just not the basketball aspect, but just personality-wise too. Mm -hmm. Um, just going off of that, um, just making sure that it's like really like family based. So make sure we feel like they're comfortable like talking to us, like even if it has nothing to do with basketball. Um, being there for one another, um, helping each other out, whether it's like relationship problems, homework problems, and if you have questions about uh, maybe plays or something, just knowing that everybody's there for one another mm -hmm. um, is definitely like a huge aspect to um, team chemistry and, and um, how the season will play out, just mm -hmm. as far as like how close we are. And yeah. we do a lot of uh, other volunteer work at like the pump or shoot concerts and those kind of things that mm -hmm. we've got to travel to Seattle to and spend time. And then we also have a uh, Tommy, who always one of Coach's friends, who mm -hmm. always has like team dinners for us, and right. that's pretty special for our team too. Yeah, and Coach Martin's like really big on having us volunteer, which I think is essential um, because once it just gets about basketball, um, I feel like that's where like the value decreases. Um, mm -hmm. We're more than just basketball players at the end of the day, and um, being able to go out and do these um, amazing things and be able to 
um, help people as a team, I feel like, says a lot about our program and about Coach Martin. Yeah, and uh, I guess I'll swing it back over to the basketball <laughs> side. The GNAC is a gauntlet of a season. You know, you have some of the top teams in the entire country, and you know, a lot of question marks going into this year. Don't really know what to expect out of the top, but it's going to be one of the best conferences again. We always know that. Mm -hmm. How do you guys prepare yourselves and the team to go through that whole grind and, and potentially be playing in Bellingham this year for a GNAC title in March? Uh, personally, I think everybody's there. I mean, once you come to college basketball, you better be there. <laughs> Uh, I think the leadership part has like a big part of it and also uh, the leadership other people have to listen to the leaders and so a lot of that listening comes from our team so I think just having our whole team on the same page will get us there. Right because we definitely have the talent. Um, um, I probably would say that we definitely need to, men as, as far as like mental toughness goes and like playing present like I know that's something like I have an issue with. Um, it's just making sure, like, even though things may, may not be going your way in the game, is to just keep your head on straight and um, just have your teammates around you to be able to support you and, like, pick you back up when you feel like you're down. Um, so, yeah, I feel like mental toughness, chemistry, and mm -hmm. just being overall, like, competitive and having confidence that we're going to go out and do great this season, no mm -hmm. matter what um, people, other people are saying. Yeah, and, and you got, Sonia, you got to experience it the first time last year, McKenna, mm -hmm. you know, your second round of it, but the energy inside Marcus Pavilion when the, when the arena gets packed, it, it's almost second to none in the, in the GNAC. You know, what kind of boost in energy do you guys feel when the crowd's cheering you on? You know, how much of an impact does that make on you as players on the court? Um, it makes a huge impact. Um, just imagine being playing in a quiet gym, <laughs> like you don't get any energy. And then once you're playing in a gym with people that are supporting you and, and cheering for you, it really helps pick up like the intensity. And especially if you're down or something and you just have like all these amazing fans like screaming for you and, and just cheering you on, um, it definitely sets a different tempo. Mm -hmm. A lot of that has to do with my family. Like I appreciate the community, like everybody comes and supports around here. I have people, I'll go to the grocery store and people will stop and be like, oh yeah, St. Martin's, you know, it's such a big community school and we, we love having people come in. But a big part of that is like my family because I see my family in the stands knowing that they're like supporting me, especially since I'm from around here and I'm huge family so having them there really you know has an impact on my game well i i know i don't speak for everyone but uh, i know we're all excited to see you back out on the court it's been a long summer we're excited for saints basketball thanks ladies for stopping on by and good luck this year thanks. thank you